Let's go, guys. It is here. Somebody has made my deuce, right? Wicked Sir Nate has made the heavy machine gun for Fallout 4. Through all of the BS, through all of these nude horny magazine replacers being the hot files, through all of these freaking face presets, through all of these language translations, all of that bullshit, we finally get a good mod. Thank you. Thank you, Wicked Sir Nate. Assuming everything works, I'm going to endorse this ASAP. We got the 50 cal machine gun. This is one of my favorite freaking heavy guns in the freaking armor. Always love to use this with my dang T60, and I'm so happy it's here. My mic is probably like really crazy right now, and it's probably all staticky, but I don't freaking care. We're going to read over the description real quickly, and then we're going to quickly jump into this damn thing because I'm so hyped to use this damn gun. All right. So in game, this devastating 50 cal heavy weapon with a mod set selection of modifications. It used slightly adjusted animations from the Fallout 76 50 cal and can be crafted at the chem station for caps. A lot of caps under its own category. So let's go ahead and get this thing. Three turret variants can be found under turrets in the workshop. Uh, no mounted version to mount on barricades, walls, and windows. That's pretty freaking sick. So we're gonna check that out too. So we get a heavy weapon and we get some settlement turrets. So let's go ahead and download this. Always make sure you look at the requirements. Requires all the DLC, which we have. All right, so, whoo, so hype. Let's do this. All right, here we are. We're in game. We're at Hangman's Alley. I got about 3,000 caps on me, I think. Yeah, I have 3,270 caps. So let's go. Hi. Hey, hon. What's up? Oh, uh, yeah, I, uh. Kind of got a fling going on with Heather. I really love that companion. We'll talk about her later in another video. Anyway, we're going to go over to the chem station. And we're going to scroll down until we see it. It should be in its own separate category. And I have I have so much stuff, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm probably just going to jump ahead so you guys don't freaking ask me what all these mods are. And I have to answer you guys. <laughs> no offense. But yeah, I'm just not trying to answer. I have a lot of like illegal stuff that i can't share all right so pretty much here it is right here though nsv machine gun and whoa well it's only five thousand all right we could do this let me just cheat it in all right i just gave myself ten thousand caps there we go five thousand nsv let's take a look at this base damage there it is 50 cal bullets Look at it, man. It's extra lengthy. Mm. You can take that how you want it. My mind gets dirty when it comes to this. My deuce. All right. That's pretty sick. Let's, uh, do I have bullets for it? Let me see. NSV. Man, I got, I got about 15 bullets for this. You hear that sound? Oh my goodness. Let's check out this reload animation as well. All right, it's just like 76. Bro, the way this thing sounds, it sounds so good. No lie, I'm not even like just brown nosing. Oh, it sounds better than 76. Oh, that is so sick. Oh yeah, let's let's give it in first person for you first person guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Sir Nate. Sir Nate, you have outdone yourself. Let's go ahead and check out the uh the weapon modifications that we could put on this thing. Alright, your receivers. Do they have models? Okay, the models appear to be the same. Anyway, heavy bolt, best damage, increased weight. Straight up, best damage, increased weight. You know what? Look, we're going for that because I'm just going to throw on my power armor. So magazine, 50 round box, 100 round box, 50 round box, 200 rounds in a box, and it only costs steel to freaking get it. Only 15 steel to get this. That's sick. Gun nut ring three as well. Give me that. Cheat damage modifier. Uh, what is this from? Is this part of the gun? That's pretty cool, you know. Sometimes, you know, if you want to avoid the BS, just give yourself some damage modifiers. We're not going to do that though. We're just going to try to put this legit. 
Explosive tipped ammo. So you can put explosive rounds on this bad boy. Armor penetrating tip. You know what? I'm not going to put the uh, explosive rounds as of yet because I don't want to blow anybody up. So I'm probably just going to skip on that. And we have the tank mounted modification for the best accuracy. Light bore lining, better spread, factory parts. We're going to take this one. All right. There we go. That's pretty sick. 200 rounds in the clip. Deuce is so sick. All right, now let's check out these. Uh, actually, let me call my power armor in first before I break my legs from being over encumbered. Okay, now let's check out these settlement item items. So we're gonna open up our settlement building menu. We're gonna go to defense turrets, and we're gonna scroll over, and hopefully we see it. Is this it? Here it is. Oh, this is the ones. I think this is the ones for the walls, right? All right, these are the ones you could place down. All right, that's pretty lit. And these. No mount. Is it like you just put it on the floor? Hmm. Oh, let's try this. I guess maybe it's just supposed to be like... Just a flat one, you know? Just basically the same thing, but without the mount. I, I guess I read that wrong. I'm thinking of 50 cal machine guns sticking out the side of the wall. You know, that's what I was thinking. And you can probably do that with the pillar glitch. But let's just, let's just put this here for now. Like that. Yeah, if I move that, it's gonna do that. All right, so that's pretty sick. Let's uh, let's call in some enemies to try and attack us. Miscellaneous, hollow tapes, SKK settlement attack system. I'm gonna hit attack now. So hopefully they attack me here. So we're gonna let these uh, these turrets do their thing, and then after that we'll go out somewhere and then shoot the uh, actual 50 cal at somebody. So let me drop some on this side too, just in case they appear on this side. And it's gonna get nasty. Here they come. Oh, you hit them? Get some. That takes care of that. Oh, this is so sick. That was it? Oh my goodness. Alright, well. As you can see, them bad boys, they go in. You know what? We need a little more. I'm sorry. Because that, that was just too quick. Okay, attack now. <laughs> this one just looks so funny. But yeah, it, it can be used for some strategic things. Like, there you go, right there. There you go, that's perfect. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, you guys need some help. Alright, that's pretty that's pretty freaking sick. Alright, this is definitely this is definitely a top five weapon mod already for me. At least for heavy weapons. This is so good. Turn around, get a little view on that. Look at it. And I like the extra long barrel. It's so sick. And another good thing about this mod is that it was only 134 megabytes. I actually make it so that the files are loose. Um 
and yeah that that's pretty much how that works look at this thing it's so freaking sick i'm gonna merge it if it if i'm not successful i'll let you guys know in the comments but as far as i know this is just a pretty simple weapon mod you just it's no level list integration you just craft it at the chem bench and it is just beautiful it's so freaking detailed and you know it's small in size i love when a mod is like this not everything has to be like super 4k and everything this just looks great it's probably like 1k or 2k and look how good it looks this gun is so sick. I definitely suggest you get it. And the thing that I love about this is that it's an original creation. It's not, you know, like a rip file or anything like that. Because all these 50 cal machine guns that we see, they're either shoulder mounted or they're like rifle mounted. Or they're just rips and you can't like share it with anybody because they're illegal. And you got to like be friends with somebody on Discord to get it. But this one... Oh man, this is about as close as you're going to get to a Fallout 76 50 cal machine gun without it being illegal, and it's right here on Nexus. So I'm going to put the link for this in the description below. If you're still here, thank you for watching. Thank you, Sir Nate, for making this amazing mod. I am going to leave my endorsement. I will see you guys next time.